Tonight we watch The Possession. What's up, Internet? We uh, are back with The Possession. It's this. Based on a true story. Yep. Um, okay, let's get right into it. Acting. Uh, yeah, the acting was real good. Um, the little girl, uh, Emily. Was it Emily or Emma? Yeah. Emily. Whatever her name was, little girl, uh, yeah, she was, uh, she was quite good in a role. I was very surprised, and uh, everybody else was uh, very good. I liked uh, Sam yeah. and Dean's dad there, the guy from Supernatural. He, I thought he was really good. Yeah. Uh, I, I honestly, though, it was so weird, because I've seen him in that role for so long. I really was half expecting Sam and Dean to run in, or at least the Impala, just something. <laughs> But no, yeah, the acting I thought I agree was a uh, was really good. Even the kids, and I know we've said before too, kid actors, it, it it's not always a sure thing. Like even the good ones sometimes just suck. Yeah, it was, so, and it was a good thing with this movie because this movie really hinges on the children because yeah. they're the main actors. You, you know, the movie really revolves around yeah, the two them. sisters on the major. So uh, roles. yeah, to have good actresses, actors in there in the roles, you know, really helps, really works. Effects. I want you to go first, because I know what I'm going to say. But I just want to hear what you have to say first. Uh, the effects, yeah, I liked them. Yeah, they were simple. Um, yeah, I hadn't... I mean, they, they were really not much... I like the eyeballs. I love the eyeballs, the rolling of the eyeballs. They did mm -hmm. that a couple different times. Yeah. And uh, the moths and uh, the fingers in the throat. And I loved the um, seeing the demon in the MRI. And that, that was actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I think... They look good, they look convincing, believable. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think this visually was probably, I think, the best one we've done so far. I, I like the whole, like, the theming too, even more so than the effects. They really, they kept it very subtle, simple in a lot of places, but I think that really helped build it. Like, you don't see the actual monster till the very, very end, mm -hmm. and even then it's in flashes. Like, it's never... Yeah, it's never a full-on, uh, yeah. uh, you they know, They build the suspense it. and then they keep it there. Even when you get a close-up of it in the face right before it crawls back in the box, uh, you know, it's still it's just, only a, for just, just a, a brief moment. moment. Yeah. yeah, you're like, oh, shit, yeah, look at that. It reminded me a lot of the movie uh, we just watched, Low. It, look, it looked yeah. a lot like him a little. A, little bit, a lot yeah. like him a little, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the effects, I thought, the, the effects, both visually and just thematically, uh, and then even like some of the audio stuff, like when the girl is just the uh, daddy you scared me and their voice changed, and that was really cool. Yeah. So yeah, I like all the, uh, the effects and everything in this. Yeah. Yeah, that was really only one moment, story-wise, we'll get into now, um, that was just, and that was really just the, um, the glass when when she was throwing the glass off the table and the, her mom was stepping in it, like you said, why doesn't she just get it on the table? That's my really only nitpick with the movie. Yeah. Other than that, I thought it was. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, the storyline was great. It had a good, uh, you know, good flow. It was a short movie, but it felt a little, it, it felt a little bit longer, but in a good way. Like you could keep watching mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I know. Uh, we, we we nitpicked and little quips here and there for the whole thing, but no, really, I. Uh, I don't have any real complaints about like the movie or the story or anything. It, uh, it had really good pacing. It didn't seem to like draw out unnecessarily in any bits. Yeah. Like even though it, it built slowly but appropriately, like it wasn't boring. It was just building the story. Sure. Yeah. Uh, the characters were good. The character development, the setup, everything was really good. Um, I mean, obviously, like you said, there's a couple nitpicks. The one on the table bugged me. And the fact that he moved into this new underdevelopment housing track, you can tell it was like a new big thing. Now here's the, or here's the other no thing that I was... no one lived there. No yeah. one on his street, no traffic, no neighbors, no cars, nothing. Even when they're screaming, running down the road, no one comes out. Here's, here's the thing. Um, did you mind the fact that the parents were divorced? It seems kind of cliche in a horror movie like this. It, they used... well... Unfortunately, horror movies nowadays, I think there are a lot of just established things that horror movies do that have become cliche that 
the new ones still do. Like the family's Between torn the... apart and then yeah. something bad happens and in the end they're all brought back together. Exactly. Like, oh, like I mentioned too with the boyfriend who he was a good guy the whole time and he seems so nice and then when they're in the garage and the girl's like, I don't like you anymore. He's like, well, you're just going to have to get used to it. Yeah. It's a little the whole, very, you know, good guy turning bad. And... Yeah. Very cliche. It, yeah. But I, I would I would like to see a, a movie where there's a bright... Like this movie, it didn't, like I told Dean earlier, it didn't have that gray, blue saturation to the whole overall look of the movie was actually very well colorized and fleshed out. It looked like yeah. a real world would, you know. Um, the colors yeah. were bright and, you know, um, I think that helped add to the realism. And um, But when you when you have something that's cliched like that, like, a, like we said, you know, divorced parents and there's a boyfriend and, you know, dad moves into a new house. And um, I would like to see something like, where there's just a happy family that just, you know, gets the shit kicked out of them. Yeah. And they have to go through instead, well, of, instead of the old cliche something. Yeah. So, yeah. This actually had a worse kill count than, um... Anything what was we it? watched. The one we watched the other day. We watched one that only had one person. Lords of Salem. Lords of Salem, yeah. But, yeah, this was actually worse. This had zero. But, no, as far as, uh... Well, we'll do that. Uh, scary. Um... No, nah, that wasn't scary. <clears throat> no, no, I'd agree. I think I think it's come closer than most of the other ones. It had a lot of good like creep scenes. Like yes. the one in the MRI was really cool. Yeah, that that was good. Uh, they did do a jump scare at the beginning with the old lady against the window, um, but for the most part, they actually they steered away from a bunch of places where they could have done the jump scare. Yeah. Like when they pulled the girl out of the MRI, uh, you could tell the music was building, they were setting it up trying to build your adrenaline, mm -hmm. but then it just went to silence. And yeah. And it just pulled her out and moved on. Like, they didn't overdo... Yeah, like seeing the demon inside of her was just enough Yeah. that you didn't need anymore. You didn't yeah. need... And I like that. I, I like that they actually played on the silence and just let it ride like that. They didn't try to throw in the cheesy jump scare or just a quick, cheap thrill. They really, they wanted the story and everything to carry it. Absolutely. So that was really good. Yep. So, yeah, I think I think they did a great job with getting more toward, like, the really creepy, scary thing. It, it, it didn't scare me, per se, but it was, it was good. Mm -hmm. I'd say overall, as far as rating, I'd give it, I'd give it an 8. Good solid eight. It mm. was it was really good. I mean, I definitely enjoyed watching it. I'd absolutely watch it again. I was. It's probably the best one we've seen so far this month. If not, it's right up there. It was. Um, I thought it was really good. Yeah. Um, I'd probably give it a six and a half. Solid six and a half. I was torn between a six or a seven, but I think six and a half, like right in the middle That's of it. That. Really? Yeah. Like I loved the imagery. Um, and everything else was good, but it was just, eh, it, it wasn't anything extraordinarily exceptional. Yeah. So it was, it was, it was, it was above average, but not uh, too crazy above average, you know? I mean, I guess it, it does rely on a lot of cliches, so it is something, you know, it, it's not necessarily unpredictable. Like, you're going to know what's going to happen right off the bat, so there is that. But it is still, it's a good watch. It's, you'll be entertained. Yeah. It's, it's worth a, a go through. Yeah, so we got a, well, he said seven, eight. Eight. He said eight. I, I'll, 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 I'll give it a seven. I'll go to a seven. I was leaning six and a half, seven. Seven sounds fair. Yeah. So there you go. It averages out to seven and a half. I think it's possibly our highest one yet. If not, it's definitely up there. I think, I, I gave Alter an eight or a nine, didn't I? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> if it didn't happen. No, there's so many movies already. Yeah, they're all blurring together. Yeah. Yeah, but I think Altered was either an 8 or a 9 for me, and I think that was the highest one. But yeah, we're, we're getting up there, we're doing good. Yeah. He's a step in the right direction. Absolutely. Especially after last night. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely better. Yeah, so we'll stick around for something that I don't know what it is going to be tomorrow. It's another movie. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> <laughs>